What's going on ladies and gentlemen, today it's your boy Flatter bringing out a brand new video Nick Merckx responding to Dr. Disrespect This happened yesterday, but I was out doing some stuff, you already know what it is You got Nick Merckx here, the, he's got the Michigan State Wolverine helmet going on He got the golf tee going on, he got the Make America Great cap going on Shout out President Trump 2024 whole other day but today we're going to be talking about nick brooks responding to dr disrespect doc uh, apologized to them the same day that he released that statement on twitter and i'm gonna be honest with you completely new news to me let's see what he has to say about that nick goes ahead and tells us this and my instagram dms and youtube comments saying nick you're a terrible friend you should have stuck by this guy when he needed you you tim z laner you guys made a huge mistake you should have waited for the facts you should have called them and talked to him look we had a short quick conversation he sent a text to the boys and i and he apologized for us ever being dragged into this and it pretty much ended right there that same day he had put out his tweet and in that tweet he had admitted to sending inappropriate texts or whatever to a minor those were his words not mine not tim's not whoever now he later deleted this tweet personally i don't think it changes much and i understand that he feels the need to defend himself i know a lot of people are coming at him and i know his premise and what he's dying on is that what he did was not illegal and look i get that but at the end of the day you messaged a minor and it was inappropriate for me this is not about legality and i don't want to beat a dead horse man i don't want to talk too much shit about this guy i give it as good as i get it a lot of people were coming at me yesterday on twitter so i called him a bad word but i'm gonna be honest man him doing what he did I think he was being that later. Now, reiterating the point, Nick does not care about the legal side of it. He also thinks Twitch is plotting against Doc still. And I, I firmly believe that they were waiting for his downfall. They were praying for his downfall almost because I honestly think the kind of guys that are working for Twitch, we've seen this time and time again with the girls on Twitch, what they can get away with versus what the guys can get. Uh, Tifu, he got banned for twerking on stream, but girls can clap their butt cheeks and be half naked in pools full of balls. And like, come on now, writing names on their body parts and stuff like that. Like I, we know what kind of guys are at Twitch. Bro. The soy boy, beta cuck losers, bro. Those are the kind of guys that are going to be at Twitch. Uh, Nick Merckx goes ahead and says this. Two together. Now, as far as the Twitch ban, listen, there's a lot of people there that don't make great decisions. I also have no doubt in my mind there were people at Twitch that were plotting against Doc. No doubt. And we've seen so many things at Twitch, crazy things that have gone unpunished. All the hot tub, bikini streams, people using slurs, etc., etc. But all that said, Twitch is a private company that can... Do whatever it wants. Now, the next for me is not revealing the whispers. I see a lot of people saying before they give their judgment, they want to see the whole thing. Now, to me, him admitting that these texts or whatever were inappropriate, that's enough. But now, since he's clearly backtracking, why isn't he putting out the whispers, man? If he's so adamant about them not being bad, why don't you show everybody? Now, to wrap this whole thing up, because God knows that's what I want to do, man. Does Doc's new comments change the way that I think about the situation entirely? No. To which I 100% agree with. He needs to reveal the whispers. If he's backtracking now, Dr. Disrespect needs to reveal the whispers. It's insane to me. Um, and then Nick Merckx just reiterates later on in this video that he's still not going to uh, be friends with Doc. He's not going to keep in contact with him. Nick Merckx had a strong reaction to Dr. Disrespect's return to streaming. Uh, this September, I was going to say this past September, but it's currently September, which is crazy to me already. Dr. Disrespect, who had been embroiled in controversy due to allegations of inappropriate messaging with a minor, returned with a stream where he attempted to explain his side of the story. However, Nick Merckx, once a friend and a collaborator, was very vocal in his criticism against Doc, citing Dr. Disrespect's previous admission to inappropriate behavior. Nick Merckx stated that he cut ties because of this admission and pushed back against fans accusing him of being a bad friend for not supporting Dr. Disrespect during the scandal. And I'm going to be real with you. I would not support my friend during this scandal if i saw the evidence and the evidence was given to me and i i knew what was happening and stuff like that i was i was adamantly informed i would have where was i i'd probably be on the fence if doc showed nick Merckx and tim the tap man the uh the messages and then they said they didn't support him that's a whole other situation right but to nick Merckx and tim the tap man they sent him a text message and then he admitted to texting a minor if my if my homeboys do that shit it's over, bro. Are you, I don't know you. Who are you? You're not somebody I used to know. I just straight up don't know you anymore. Disassociate, disassociated. We got any pictures of us together? I'm going to be trying to take them down. That's fucking crazy to me. I, insane. Insane. 
Anyways, Nick Merckx expressed disbelief at the idea that people expected him to defend Dr. Disrespect after the controversy. He made it clear that, to him, the behavior was inexcusable and the friendship could not continue in light of the situation. And I 100% agree with Nick Merckx here. If you guys disagree with me, let me know in the comment section below. But I agree with Nick Merckx's stance here. I understand he's also getting canceled for having some colorful uh, words and stuff like that. Uh, if you watch any of my live streams, you already know that those same colorful words get said here. Um, and I, I honestly, other than the hard R, I honestly think that um, those harmful words are meant to keep you down and it gives it power at the end of the day to control the narrative and control the people. So say what you want to say. It is what it is. Call me a honky cracker reptilian army or whatever you want to call me. You know what it is. It is what it is at the end of the day. Call me uh, uh, a yogurt yodeler, if you will, as a white man. That's not going to bother me. Uh, and words should not bother you, especially here online where anything and everything can will and has be has been said guys i love you be good be kind to say to each other see you on the next one i think nick marks is right here i think he's just in his cause I'd, I'd be in the same boat as him let me know what you guys think champs or whatever dr disrespect says as a sign off see you on the next one i'm out of here